click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel to get latest notifications and updates about my videos click on this bell icon hi friends in this video i'm going to explain <coughs> the 3d model of the vertical tank this is the part one i am explaining first i want to make the three tutorials for this first i want to make the first video for the part one uh, the top of the vertical tank one of the model i want to create this this in ktia v5 design go on to the mechanical design and go on to the part design i am giving the vertical tank in the description link the download link is available to download the drawing and can also you can also practice this drawing and i'm saving this drawing on the desktop and go into the x y plane and go into the sketcher after go into the sketcher draw the circular pattern first and constraint the dimension by the constraint tool and i'm giving the diameter of <coughs> 900 and uh, because this is the internal diameter of the shell is 900 and the thickness is 3 thickness i am giving the 900 plus 6 and 906 thickness then after i am developing the one of the circle with circle pattern see this is the 906 mm all dimensions are an mm and draw the another circle of 900 ID internal diameter the body is 906 and the internal diameter is 900 and click on ok the three thickness is completed the two circles are sketches completed and go on to the exit workbench and develop the 3d model part let's see go on to the exit workbench then go on to the exit workbench and click on the pad definition to um, dialog box will appear and the dialog box give the length 250 and then click on preview and click on ok now the 250 of the height of the shell is completed and click on preview and click on ok then see the one of the shell is completed out 250 height of 900 id and 906 body of 3 mm thick and this is developing the first part part one i'm explaining i will also give the three parts and the next two parts also i will explain in my next tutorials and this is the <coughs> model i created in the xy plane by using the sketcher the part design and then after i am giving the reference element tool click on the plane definition and offset from plane i am giving the simply to 250 mm and select that plane and draw the one of the circle of 906 body and the 900 id because it is the top plate to cover the shell it is required um, as you can also observe in the drawing the one of the top plate is there i'm aiming the 250 height is there i am giving the three thickness and click on preview and click on ok i'm changing the direction see i'm giving the 900 id because this is not in 900 the 906 is required again i'm i'm deleting this sketch and i want to develop this see it is looking i want 906 on the top it will mounted on the 906 body not in the 900 id again double click on that and go on to the sketcher again i'm going to the sketcher what i offset from the plane and again i'm giving the 906 body and check the dimension by using constraint and give the constraint of 906 and click on exit workbench and go on to the pad definition and give the 3 mm thickness this is correct as compared to the previous and the 3 thickness and click on ok this is created <coughs> the one of the shell is completed and next i want to create the offset the frame from plane give the offset and go on to the sketcher and draw the circle of 960 od this is the stiffener i am developing and in between the two shells the two stiffness are there of 10 mm thickness already you can observe in the drawing 
and the three thickness is showing i'm giving the 10 thickness for example purpose i am giving the all of the dimensions 10 mm thickness and click on preview and click on ok all of the 10 mm thickness of the stiffener of the flange is completed is the 10 thickness flange i am giving see it is looking like this i want to go on to the and again sketcher and draw the one of the circle of 906 coincident with the 906 internal diameter I'm giving the 906 and click on OK. After giving the 906, 906 not to be the outer diameter of the shell and click on OK and go on to this and give the pad definition and click on preview and give the length of height is 10 mm thick. See the flange is completed. The half of the part of the model is completed. <coughs> this model is created on the part design workbench. Next, I want to give the holes and go on to the plane. And I'm giving the circle of PCD pitch code diameter by using the profile tool. Give the circle of I want to give 930. I will show you if 930 is um, okay or not. I'm going with some of the dimensions. See, I'm giving the for example, I'm giving. 9 10 it is come closer to this and i'm going to give 9 15 and i'm going to give the 9 9 20 it is not okay i'm giving 9 30 because 9 60 od 9 30 is possible 9 40 is also near to this 9 60 i'm giving the 9 30 and click on okay one of the pcd circle is completed and the drawing it is not mentioned i am mentioned in this drawing how to develop the pitch circles and of the holes also i can explain you how to prepare the flange all the explain previous tutorials how to develop the flange also you can go on to the previous tutorials you can observe the all of the drawings in 2d and the 3d and the 20 a hole is giving i'm giving the 18 diameter by using the constraint and go on to the delete the pcd line before you can proceed to the part designing workbench and go on to the 3d workbench and go on to the pocket and click on preview and click on ok one of the hole is created of height of 10 thickness see the hole is created and go on to the transformation future tools are there and go on to the transformation future tools and give the circular pattern definition and give the current solid and give the instant is to 5 and i'm giving the instant is 60 for example and give the reference element it is showing like this 60 is not possible on this 45 degree angle because i as you know the 45 degree how much is required it it will form depending upon the angular spacing i am giving the angular spacing instant it should be same as compared with the angular spacing if not created it problem may observe on the screen i am giving the you can also observe the crown definition i am explaining if you give the crown definition like this this type of objects you can use the crown definition i am using the only axial reference tab then go on to the axial reference i am giving the instant is to 10 and the 45 degree it is showing only 9 holes this is also not possible on the 45 degree i want more holes because the diameter of the shell is large i am giving the 20 and i am giving the angular spacing to uh, for example, I'm giving the angle which is 25 degree. It is looking like this is some of the distance between the hole to hole is less. I'm giving the 25 uh, 25 angular spacing. Uh, now I am giving the 18 degree. Then click on OK. See the angle spacing is OK as compared with the instantaneous. As depending upon the angle spacing already explained. I'm going to the preview and click on OK. This is OK. I click on the 15 degree it will look like this see some of the space is remaining i'm giving the 18 degree it is uh, all the holes are in the same distance and click on preview and click on ok you can also observe the distance by using the drafting workbench all text from one of the tutorial about this drawing this type of drawing and i'm going on to the one of the plane and select the plane and go on to the offset the frame and I'm giving the offset from the plane to uh, 
because the 906 is the body i am giving the 906 by 2 and click on preview it is simply go on to the exact position on to the uh, top of the shell and select the select that plane and go on to the sketcher workbench we want to develop the one of the flange is required and the nothing but a one of the nozzle is required i, I will show you how to prepare the nozzle and the flange in this tutorial also and draw the line by intersecting the first plane and the second plane one of the vertical line is i'm drawing by using the line and i'm giving the 250 it is okay and i'm give the middle point from the middle point draw the one of the circle the i'm i we want 150 nb nozzle the pipe body of the n 50 nozzle is 168 body as 168 is the outer diameter i'm giving the 168 OD diameter and click on OK. Of this is the outer diameter of the pipe. Next, I want on giving the center. Constrain it to same 250 by 2 is equal to 125. It is on the same distance and go on to the C already given in the drawing. All of the dimensions. I'm giving the 150 ID. The internal diameter of the pipe is 150. Click on OK and go on to the uh, exit workbench before delete the all the lines and go on to the exit workbench and click on the pad definition and i'm giving the projection projection is not mentioned in the drawing i'm giving the one of the projection 250 for example and click on preview i'm changing to, to 225 as your wish you can give the projections and then I'm giving the 225 and click on preview and click on OK. See the projections are completed. And this is the model. And the pipe is completed. Then you wanna, I want to create one of the flange for to this. Already explained the NSIP 16 point flange. For example, as per the section standards, one of the flange I'm designing. Uh, already given in the drawing the flange dimensions i'm giving the diameter of by using the center point draw the another vertical line and give the center point by using the constraint definition are they using the midpoint and concentrate see you can also develop this different types of tools i'm giving the circle of 280 od and the 170 id the diameter of the flange is 280 od and the ones 71 id the outer diameter of the pipe is 168 body and the flange is 171 id the some of the clearance is required to the pipe and the flange nearly 1.5 <coughs> and the both get 0 0.75 and 171 mm and click on ok the flange is completed and click on ok and go on to the exit one before deleting the lines after deleting the lines check all the dimensions are correct or not and go on to the exit workbench i'm checking the one of the dimensions see by using the horizontal line i'm also giving the pocket definition tool also the pocket if i am using the pocket I'll explain you I want the holes, the flange require the holes in the PCD. I mentioned the already PCD. I'm constrained it to PCD to 241 PCD and click on OK and go on to the uh, exit workbench and delete the lines and draw the small circle of diameter. I'm giving the diameter of 22 diameter hole mm. and delete the horizontal line and click on preview. Uh, once see the preview uh, it is okay and go on to the exit workbench and go on to the pad definition and the both the pocket and the pad will form on the same position see i am deleting the length i am giving the length what area you want 25 mm click on preview and click on okay you want to change the direction also you can also change the direction of the bracket and percent and one of the hole is in there from this one hole i created all of the holes so how many required and go on to the circular pattern definition toolbar is there on the transformation features see the transformation features the rectangular pattern and the circular pattern and the user pattern are also there go on to the the circular pattern definition tool you will 
you can form all of the holes by using the this tool and go into the circular pattern definition in this their crown definition give the crown definition to 8 degree and give the 45 degree already I give the axial references model this is the crown definition model you can develop like this and preview and click on ok uh, 8 holes will created see the 8 holes are created again I want to do this operation and give the 8 and the angular spacing to 45 and the reference element object and the select the reference element select the object hole and click on preview the holes are created the eight holes are created it will create it is somewhat disturbing see the holes are created see the eight holes are created I'm giving the eight holes as always you can give the holes as per the standard flanges I'm giving like this and I go on to the plane already flange is completed I want to require a hole because I want to remove the material from the solid material uh, again I'm giving the one of the reference line and give the middle point from the middle point or the one of the circle pattern on the sketcher workbench and go on to the diameter of 150 and click on exit workbench and delete the line before proceed the commands and go on to the pocket and click on preview it is showing the up to lost option if you give the up to lost what you observe on the screen i will show you if you give the up to lost see the hole is created but the hole is created on the other side also observe i will show you see the hole is created on the other side also this is the wrong method i am giving the again i am going to the previous method and i want to give the dimension up to next and click on preview and click on ok see the model is created it in this type of purposes you can use the up to next in some methods you can use up to last this is the model of the total drawing of the part one of the vertical tank